In the land of Skyrim, there are a great many romances that exist. Some are beautiful, some are toxic, and some are... well, we don't talk about those. But there is one in Skyrim that you are likely aware of, and it is the love triangle between Seven and Feindal, and their affection for Camilla Valerius. But who deserves to be with Camilla? who is a better match, and who is simply a better person that even deserves to be with her in the first place. Hello my fellow hirelings of House Telvani, I'm Neloth, and today I'm going to answer the really important questions. Not who should win the Civil War, not if necromancy is evil, not if Talos is truly a god, but instead, whose letter should you give to Camilla Valerius? Before I begin this analysis, let me state that I will not be looking at this love triangle from a gameplay perspective. I am well aware that Feindal is superior than Sven in combat and leveling, but that is not the point. Rather, it is who truly makes the best couple. With that being said, let us look into the intricate world of love triangles. Sven versus Feindal. So, first let us go over the quest. When you arrive in Riverwood, you will likely encounter Sven or Feindal, both of whom dislike the other for trying to get close to Camilla. After speaking to either Sven or Feindal, they will give a fabricated letter to the player in an attempt to sabotage the other's relationship and ask for the letter to be delivered to Camilla. Sven's fabricated letter will read as the following. Dear Camilla, I know I have called upon you at your house many times, and while we may be growing close, I need you to put any desires you have for me aside. I am a true-born son of Valenwood, and I could never befoul my bloodline by courting an Imperial. I hope we can remain true friends, provided you understand your people's place in the Aldmeri Dominion and respect me as such. Sincerely, Fane Dahl. And Feindal's fabricated letter will say, My dearest Camilla, I yearn to have you as my own, washing my linens and my fine blonde hair, to cook my dinner from my stove and tend to my house while I wander. Yours truly, Sven. After receiving the letter, you are sent to Camilla where you can deliver the fake letter incriminating either Sven or Feindal, or you can betray Sven or Feindal's trust and tell Camilla the truth that the letter is fabricated. When you are done, you return to either Sven or Feindal, where you are given a staggering reward of 25 gold, enough to buy a bottle of mead or that damn attic room at the Sleeping Giant Inn. But as I said at the beginning of the video, who exactly deserves the affections of Camilla? And to answer that question, we will need to dig a little deeper into the lives of Sven, Feindal, and yes, even Camilla. She should get a say in all this after all. I will start with Sven, as he is the first person you usually see when entering Riverwood for the first time. Sven is a Nord that works at the Sleeping Giant Inn as a bard, although according to Feindal, he is also supposed to be a lumberjack working for Gerder, but he is never actually seen doing any woodcutting. As a bard, Sven will be playing music at the Sleeping Giant Inn most of the time, and can be seen either talking to Delphine or entertaining the town folk. Now, Sven lives with his mother Hilda in a very generic common house with nothing out of the ordinary. Hilda, Sven's mother, is not the nicest woman. While she is very protective of her son, often telling the guards to not let Sven join the war, she is also very racist towards Argonians, Khajiit, and Elves, believing Elves should stick to their own kind and saying how sickening it is to see non-human races on the road. Oddly enough, Hilda does not seem to hold any resentment towards orcs. Now, while Hilda does seem to have racist tendencies, there is no evidence to suggest that Sven also has these same racist tendencies, but it is possible. 
So now, what exactly is Sven's relationship with Camilla? From what we have learned about Sven, one would assume he is just friendzoned by Camilla. However, according to one dialogue between Camilla and Sven, it appears their relationship is much more flirtatious. Now, I tried to get these NPCs to actually have their conversations in-game, but after two hours of failure, I decided I'm just going to read it based off of what I read on the wiki. So, Camilla says, You play so well. Sven says, With you as my muse, how could I not? Camilla responds, Oh Sven, you do know how to turn a girl's head. Judging by this dialogue, it would seem that there is already some sort of bond between the pair that would make them more likely to become an actual couple. But I am getting ahead of myself. Now, let us snoop more into Feindal's affairs. Feindal is a wood elf that works as a lumberjack for Gerder at her lumber mill. However, he is also a hunter that hunts game early in the morning before heading to work. Whether he hunts merely for sport or to supply the town with pelts is anyone's guess. Looking at Feindal's home, we can see that it is definitely the home of a hunter, with plaques of kills like elk and slaughterfish, hides on the ground used as rugs, books on hunting and fighting like Killing Before You're Killed or Herebane's Bestiary Ice Wraiths, and then you have bows and arrows and even a troll skull next to his bed. Also, unlike Sven, Feindal lives alone. So, what is Feindal's relationship with Camilla? Well, unlike Sven and Camilla, who seem to have a flirtatious friendship, there is absolutely no sign of flirtation between Camilla and Feindal. There isn't even any dialogue between the two of them anywhere on the Elder Scrolls wiki or the game files. Now, this doesn't mean Feindal never goes to meet with Camilla. In fact, once you complete the Golden Claw quest, Feindal will start visiting Camilla every day, even if you marry Camilla yourself, which leads to some awkward encounters. But I'm getting off track again. So, it is rather clear that while Feindal likes Camilla, he isn't very willing to engage in flirtation or allow his intentions to be made clear, but still wants Camilla all to himself, which is rather stalkerish and creepy when you think about it. But there is one last person that we haven't talked about yet, and that is Camilla Valerius herself. Camilla Valerius is an Imperial that works with her brother, Lucan Valerius, intending the Riverwood Trader. However, before working at the General Store, Camilla was originally born and lived in Cyrodiil, but the aftermath of the Great War made life very hard, and so she moved to Skyrim, but is otherwise upset that she is now witnessing another war. Camilla will also state how all she wants to find is a good husband and start a family of her own, but does she really? So we will now look into Camilla's relationship with both Sven and Feindal, because interestingly enough, there is a little more than meets the eye of Magnus. We know that Camilla engages in flirtation with Sven, but presumably none with Feindal. And we also know that Sven and Feindal wish that Camilla shared their affections or even knew about them. But what if I told you that she actually knows about their feelings? There is actually dialogue between Camilla and Hod, the husband of Gerder, that I couldn't get to trigger in my game, but reads as the following. Hod, you need to choose between those two boys. It ain't fair to Sven or Feindal to keep tugging on their heartstrings like that. Camilla, it's bad enough my brother is harping on me to pick one. Don't you start two. Hod, I'm just saying you should pick one to settle down with. On top of this dialogue exchange, if you play as a female character and walk up to Camilla, she will also say a line of dialogue that I also couldn't get the fucking happen in the game, but regardless, she will say, The men here like my attention, and I like theirs. Best know your place. 
This confirms that Camilla knows about the affections of both Sven and Feindal and is simply playing with their feelings and reveling in their attention, which is pretty horrible and also hypocritical considering she states she wants to find a husband and start a family. Now we know all aspects of this love triangle, so it is officially time to decide on a victor. Who deserves Camilla? Sven or Feindal? And I actually have multiple answers for this question. My first answer is that ultimately, nobody deserves each other. Both Sven and Feindal are willing to deceive Camilla and make each other look monstrous. Feindal by portraying Sven as a sexist womanizer, and Sven by portraying Feindal as a supremacist member of the Aldmeri Dominion, which is basically colorful words for Thalmor. Additionally, Camilla doesn't deserve either of them because of her vanity, hypocrisy, and toying with the feelings of this man and Mur. But you may be looking for an answer that will get rid of the quest from your miscellaneous tab that doesn't involve a murder spree. And if so, I do have a second answer which will probably cause some controversy. My second answer is that Seven is the man for Camilla because of the fact that he is already engaged in flirtation with Camilla and even writes poetry to Camilla as she states when receiving the fake letter incriminating Sven, which kind of shows there's already a sort of bond forming. Feindal, on the other hand, does not seem to be flirtatious and instead behaves much like a creepy stalker, not making his intentions clear and just wanting Camilla for himself. Now, I am aware that many people do choose Feindal more than Sven, myself included most of the time, simply because Feindal caps at level 30, while Sven is level 20, and the fact that Feindal is a great marksman trainer at the beginning of the game. However, let's be real honest, there are far better companions than these two morons, and if you really want to level your archery skill, you can easily go over to the companions, complete the simple initiation test, and get archery training from Ayella the Huntress. So, it is better to look at this decision from a lore perspective, rather than some uber-efficient min-maxing gameplay perspective. And that is all I wrote, a video where I somehow took a small, insignificant miscellaneous quest and made an entire 13 minute essay out of it because I'm just a fucking psycho like that. Make sure to tell me down in the comments below who you truly think deserves Camilla, Sven, Feindal, you, or nobody. Also make sure to like the like button, like the subscribe button, and like the bell notification down below to be updated on future videos. And I will see you whenever the fuck I decide to upload again. House Telvani be with you. Please, O oh hero of Skyrim, I shall be ever so grateful.